Welcome back everybody, my name is Nick930 and we are going to be taking a look at Titanfall 2. This is another uh, benchmark that I've had sitting on my computer for a while, I just never uploaded it. Uh, and I just wanted to show you guys how the game performs with a GTX 980 Ti, an i7-6700K processor, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, and it's all installed on a solid state drive on the Windows 10 64-bit. Uh, now this is the opening scene for the single player campaign. Most of the test is going to be using the single player campaign to keep it, um, to try to make it easy for you guys to compare your own performance. Uh, I will show some multiplayer footage and I'll also show the game running with vertical sync disabled. Currently vertical sync is enabled, that's why you're seeing a locked 60 frames per second in that top right corner. Uh, but I will show you what the footage looks like when the uh, game is not locked at 60. But as you can see, it's performing wonderfully right now. I got this game maxed out completely. Let me show you what that looks like right, really quick. All right, and here's my graphics settings for this game. I currently have everything maxed out. Resolution is 1920 by 1080. Anti-aliasing is at eight times MSAA, though I did notice that I've had some lower frame rates with the anti-aliasing set up this high when playing the multiplayer. Single player, I don't have any issues, but the multiplayer does get a little bit more hectic, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, now this is the opening sequence to the first level. That first section you were seeing earlier was kind of a uh, prologue, but this is the first official level. Uh, and it's a cutscene, pre-rendered cutscene, and you can see the graphics look phenomenal right here. Lots of great textures, some okay water quality here, but uh, much better looking than the first Titanfall, I have to admit. I think the textures really stand out in this game, and it looks like an actual next-gen game unlike the last one. Um, but again, this is running at 60 FPS. Uh, we got the vertical sync disabled right now, or I'm sorry, enabled. Um, let's take a look and see what that looks like with vertical sync disabled. All right, so here's that footage I promised with vertical sync disabled. As you can see, the frame rate is a little bit higher than 60 now. We're up in the 70s, and it can go up to 80s, but it doesn't go much higher. So uh, it's pretty typical of a first-person shooter, but still, the performance is fantastic. It plays very smoothly, and just it works fine. Uh, but the multiplayer, on the other hand, is where we start running into issues. So I'm going to let this uh, footage run a little bit longer, and then I'll show you what the multiplayer footage looks like. Um, but that's all I have to really say about the game. The game performs very well. It's uh, not perfect. I do have some FPS drops with the 8x MSAA. If you're having issues, I suggest lowering that setting. You'll get a lot more frames. Um, but otherwise, yeah, the, the game runs very, very well, and multiplayer is where you're going to have the hardest time maxing it all out. So thank you all for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you guys have any more questions, something I might have missed, be sure to let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to answer that for you. And I will see you all next time. Intruders, this is General Carter of the Interstellar Manufacturing. We work for Reverend the Iron Sea Space. Surrender yourself to the Iron Sea Metal. I don't care who's giving the orders. Blisk and his mercs, General Marder. Us grunts get paid the same either. All that matters is that thing in the mountains goes online and shit. Many militia forces in the region. Fight Surrender immediately. Do not attempt to resist. Lethal force is authorized against any armed militia. Watch your stick! There's the militia pilot! on the 
shirt. control. Impressive fighting. We're really winning this thing. Keep it up. Enemy captured A. B is amped. Nice work. Oh, it's a 
attacking. Yep, we have full control. 